All right, everyone. What you're looking at is the OnePlus 5. Finally, it's been launched here. I mean, so many months of anticipation and all those rumors and leaks and all those renders. But yeah, this is what the uh, finally the OnePlus 5 looks like. Although it was launched on the 20th globally, we got to see it. But now that it's here and we got a hands on this phone, so it's probably like you know reiterating the spec sheets and the other specification. So first thing first, it is a little reflective as you can see. You can probably see me as well. But yeah, if I talk about the build quality, it's excellent, man. It's pretty good. It's what they call the Horizon line, as you can see, assembles the Horizon. Beautifully made, very sturdy, and it's built in two colors: the slate gray and this black one that you're seeing right now. And yes, uh, standard port placement over here. Your power button, the SIM tray is over here. It's a dual SIM phone, so that's pretty cool. And the volume rocker and that slider, so that's like pretty cool. Again, the USB of this phone is, as you can see, behind the two cameras. So you're getting a 16 megapixel camera, and you're also getting a 20 megapixel telephoto camera, which is going to make sure that your pictures are amazing. And you also get that portrait mode, which will make sure the the subject is in focus and the background is uh, defocused, so that uh, we you see what really matters. You also get an LED flash over here. At the front, also there is a 16 megapixel camera for selfies. Uh, at the bottom, you have this. Uh, fingerprint scan which is already there it's much improved 0.2 second it will take to unlock and that's pretty amazing and oh yeah you do get that audio jack so that's also pretty cool otherwise you have a usb type c port for charging and when i talk about charging dash charging is still here you can charge your phone in half an hour like completely 3300 mh battery what you get here is a 5.5 inch of screen display which yeah see i can grip it so nicely like the design is also slightly curved which sort of gives you that uh, better grip as well 5.5 inch uh, optic amulet display and it looks pretty cool a little reflective though right now but yeah that's how it is and the phone is powered by the snapdragon 835 processor it's the latest not really the latest right now but yeah most of the phone don't have this processor so it's going to make your performance like way 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 better so it's an absolutely crazy processor uh, it's on based on the 10 nm technology so very power efficient and it's going to be very powerful ram the well it's like an evolution of ram with especially with the one plus phone so start with 3 gb ram and now it goes up to 8 gb so there are two variants one is your 6 gb variant uh, with uh, 64 gb of storage and uh, one uh, the one that i have is uh, the 8 gb ram variant with 128 gb of storage so Massive man, massive, and uh, I'll talk about the price a little later. Although most of you must have seen the tweets and already know the price, but yeah, the performance of this phone is going to be absolute killer. It's running on the Oxygen OS based on Android Nougat, so the UI is also pretty neat, pretty clutter-free as you can see. No, no bloatware whatsoever, man. Also, they're integrating PayTM here, so once you like long press the home button. Uh, and uh, it's going to recognize your fingerprint and it's just going to open that Paytm app so you can quickly scan and pay. So spec wise, like we've always been saying, it's loaded. Looks wise also, it's great. I think what it all comes down to is the camera, the dual camera. And we'll have to use that camera to see how the results actually come out. Because yeah, uh, in the presentation, there were like lots of great pictures that were taken. And uh, and uh, you know they said that uh, even if I better than the competition, so obviously they were comparing it to the OnePlus 7, but uh, right now it looks good, so you won't be able to really make out, we'll be posting the pictures really soon. So otherwise, yes, this is what you get, it's pretty good, I'll just repeat the specification, 5.5 inch of optic AMOLED display, available in two variants, uh, 6 GB RAM and 64 GB, and there's 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage. Uh, it's powered by the Snapdragon 835 processor, uh, and uh, you know, uh, Camera, you have a 16 megapixel camera and a 20 megapixel telephoto lens as well. So, for those portrait modes, the bouquet effect that uh, you get. So, pretty good. Now, let me just tell you the price. So, the 6 GB RAM and 64 GB variant it will cost you around uh, 32,999 rupees, and this one, the 8 GB RAM and 128 GB variant, will cost you 37,999 rupees. So that's it, the sales are going to be starting soon, it would be available on Amazon and Amazon says there have already been a great number of inquiries uh, about the phone and uh, they're expecting the phone to do pretty well and uh, from the looks of it I've been, I've used the OnePlus extensively, the, all the previous generations, so quite promising, camera is something I'm really intrigued about and this is what I'm going to be using the most 
and I think that is what is going to determine the review of this phone. But otherwise, another good smartphone uh, that is in the offering. So yeah, so stay tuned for our full-on review. This is Mr. Ubrethi from Tech and You signing out.